Well, here we see Midtown Manhattan with the Hudson River here, the East River here. We're going to focus on a small area, the theater district. The theater district is generally thought of as the area bounded by 42nd Street on the south, 52nd Street on the north, and 6th and 8th Avenues on the east and west. Within the district is Times Square, which is bounded by 47th Street on the north and 42nd Street on the south, where Broadway and 7th Avenue intersect. It's not actually a square, but a bow tie shape with two triangles emanating from 45th Street North and 45th Street South. Known as the crossroads of the world, 50 million people pass through Times Square annually. The portion of Broadway in the theater district is known as the Great White Way for the dazzling electrical signs which have populated the street from as early as 1910. Ironically, almost all of the Broadway theaters are not on Broadway. There are just a few on Broadway, with most being on the side streets between 43rd and 49th Street. We'll see a lot of them, along with some other interesting sights. Between 1830 and 1860, the Astor family built a neighborhood here that was exclusive until the 1890s. It was originally called Longacre Square, after the same name square in London. In 1904, the New York Times moved here and it was renamed Times Square. By World War I, most theaters moved here. In 1927-28, 264 shows were produced in 76 theaters. The neighborhood went down during the Depression, and many theaters were converted to movie houses. And burlesque was introduced. Peep shows, dance halls, penny arcades came in as the area declined. The Paramount Theater Building at 1501 Broadway from 1927. Well, Frank Sinatra played here in his early days. It's no longer a movie theater, but it still lives on as the Hard Rock Cafe. Well, here's the Henry Miller Theater. Now it's the Stephen Sondheim. Well, this is on West 43rd, and it's uh, from 1917. Born Yesterday played here. The Hudson Theater from 1904 on West 44th Street. Well, off the corner of 6th Avenue and 44th is the Belasco Theater. Now from 1907 in a colonial revival style. This block between 43rd and 44th Street on Broadway once housed the most famous billboard in Times Square history and some consider it the most famous in advertising history. It was here from the 1940s until 1966. It's the camel sign.
here's a naked cowboy in Times Square. Here's another building designed by McKim, Mead and White. It's a neo-federal design from 1905. Well, originally it was the Lambs Club, the Actors Club, but they've moved away. It's now a hotel, but there's still a restaurant on the premises called the Lambs Club. Now we see the Helen Hayes Theater on West 44th Street. Now well, the building is in 1912. Well, here's the St. James Theater right next to the Helen Hayes. And the building is from 1927. And Oklahoma played here. Hello Dolly played here. The King and I played here. Here's the Majestic Theater, opened in 1927. South Pacific played here. And as you can see, the Phantom of the Opera is here right now. Well, here we see Town Hall on West 43rd Street near 6th Avenue. This is a concert venue. The building is from uh, between 1919 and 1921. It's a uh, McKim, Mead and White uh, building. It's in a Georgian Revival style. Many famous people have appeared here to speak, including Winston Churchill, Theodore Roosevelt, Margaret Sanger, and Henry James. Right next to the Majestic is the Broadhurst Theater from 1917. And right here on West 44th is the famous Sardi's restaurant. Where all the actors can be seen, except during performances. It's been here quite a long time. I'm not sure the number of years, but it's a very famous old restaurant. Now also on West 44th is the Schubert Theater from 1912. Well, we're on 45th Street, and here's the Booth Theater, also from 1912. You can't take it with you, and Sunday in the Park with George played here. This passageway between 44th and 45th Street is known as Schubert Alley. In the old days, this was the heart of the Schubert Theater Empire. Actors waited in this alley to try out for parts. The Schubert brothers founded their organization in the late 19th century and by 1929 they owned, managed, operated or booked nearly a thousand theaters in the, across the United States. So that's why actors came here looking for parts. Well this is the Lyceum Theater on West 45th Street. Well, it's from 1902 with a magnificent Beaux-Arts facade and it's the first theater to be landmarked. Well here we see four theaters, one right next to the other on West 45th Street near 8th Avenue. Now here on 45th Street, Irving Berlin had the music box theater constructed for him so that he could stage his own productions here and rent it out to others. Dinner at eight. I remember Mama and the man who came to dinner was staged here. The Ziegfeld Follies played here for one season as did Earl Carroll's Vanities. Humphrey Bogart played here. Oh, here's the Imperial Theater from 1923. Gypsy, Cabaret, and Lame Miz played here. Off the corner of 8th Avenue, what was 
formerly the Martin Beck Theater is now the Al Hirschfeld Theater. And it's from 1923. And Man of La Mancha played here. We're looking at what was once the Hotel Girard on West 44th Street. The building was from 1894. And buildings like this were very common in the area. Now here's the Golden Theater from 1927. The Royale Theater, also from 1927, is now the Jacobs. Well, still on 45th, here's the Schoenfeld Theater, originally the Plymouth Theater, and it dates from 1918. Well, here's the Richard Rogers Theater on West 46th, and it's from 1924. Well, quite a unique style. As you can see, Hamilton is playing here now. Guys and Dolls played here one time. This building on West 46 was once the High School of the Performing Arts. And it's from 1894. The movie Fame was loosely based on this high school. Today it's the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis High School for international careers. Well, here's the Lundfontaine Theater, originally the Globe, also on 46th Street from 1910, in an Italian Rococo style. The Sound of Music played here for a long time. Here's the Brooks Atkinson Theater from 1926. Now, the Barrymore Theater on West 47th Street from 1926 and a streetcar named Desire played here. From 1913, the Longacre Theater on West 48th Street it's from 1921 and Ain't Misbehaving played here and this is where I must have seen it those many years ago. On West 49th, the Eugene O'Neill Theater from 1926. Tobacco Road played here, over 3,000 performances. Also on West 49th, the Ambassador Theater from 1931. Here we are on Broadway, approaching 47th Street, looking south. Entering Times Square. <laughs> Nobody symbolizes Broadway more than George M. Cohan. He was an entertainer, a playwright, a composer, a lyricist, an actor, a singer, a dancer, and theatrical producer. He wrote, composed, and produced, and appeared in over three dozen shows and published more than 300 songs, including Over There, Give my regards to Broadway, your grand old flag, and the Yankee Doodle Boy. He is considered the father of American musical comedy. At the northern end of Times Square is what is known as Duffy Square, in honor of Father Duffy, the chaplain of the 69th Infantry Regiment, the Fighting 69th. He was involved in combat and accompanied litter bearers to recover wounded soldiers. He is the most highly decorated cleric in the history of the U.S. Army. So this northern end of Times Square is named in his honor. In a previous video, we saw his church, the Holy Cross Church on West 42nd Street. On this site was the Palace Theater at 7th Avenue and 47th Street. It started as a vaudeville house in 1913 and lasted as a vaudeville stage until the early 1930s. It was called the Valhalla of Vaudeville 
playing the palace bit, reaching the top. Well, we're looking south in Times Square. Well, the building with the red billboards is one Times Square. And it opened in 1904 when the New York Times moved here from Park Row. On December 31st, 1904, they had a party and dropped the ball from the top. And that's continued until today. At 1619 Broadway at 49th Street is the Brill Building from 1931. This building was synonymous with the music of the 1950s and 60s. Neil Sedaka, Jeff Barry, Neil Diamond, Ellie Greenwich, Carol King, Barry Mann, Cynthia Wilde, Doc Palmas, Brackerack, and many, many others composed, recorded, and produced many of the rock and roll classics we're still listening to today. By 1962, the building contained 165 music businesses, publishers, recording studios, and other music-related businesses. Right here in the midst of the Times Square district is the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, Episcopal Church. It's erected in 1895. And that's quite ornate. On West 52nd Street, here we see the Neil Simon Theater, originally the Alvin Theater. It opened in 1927. Porgy and Bess played here. Well, here's a famous New York steakhouse, Gallagher's on West 52nd. And if you like steak, this is a good place to come. Now, also on West 52nd Street is the August Wilson Theater. One time it was the Virginia Theater. It's from 1924. And such plays as Much Ado About Nothing, Morning Becomes a Lecture, and Our Wilderness played here. Well, here's the famed Winter Garden Theater on Broadway between 50th and 51st Streets. It's one of the few theaters actually on Broadway. Originally, it was the American Horse Exchange. Yes, horses were bought and sold here. But in 1911, it was remodeled into a theater. Cats played here for many, many years, and so did Liza Minnelli, I believe. Right now, as you can see, it's hosting Hugh Jackman, starring in The Music Man. I saw the original with Robert Preston, seems like a million years ago. Well, we'll end our walk here on Broadway between 53rd and 54th Streets at the Ed Sullivan Theater, once the Hammerstein Theater, it was opened in 1927. Well, David Letterman show was here for many years, and now Stephen Colbert is here. The Beatles played here when they came to the United States. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. The hip hooray and ballet hoo, the lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of the subway train, the rattle of the taxis. The daffodils who entertain at Angelo's and Maxine's when the Broadway baby says goodnight. It's early in the morning. Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Good night, baby. Night, milkman's on his way. Sleep tight, baby. Sleep tight. Let's call it a day. Hey, come on along and listen to 
the lullaby of Broadway, the hidey high and poop do the lullaby of Broadway. The band begins to go to town, and everyone goes crazy. You rock by your baby round, till everything gets hazy. Hush, a bye, I'll buy you this and that. You'll hear a daddy say, and baby goes home to her flat to sleep all day. Good night, baby. Good night, milkman's on his way. Sleep tight, baby. Sleep tight. Let's call it a Oh, boy.